Welcome to Your Money Guides, brought to you by Interface Financial Planning. Today's story is all about Brian and Eleanor, who Alan's looked after since his early days as a financial advisor when he started back in 1990. Initially, Alan, Brian and Eleanor met and completed some financial transactions, but at the time, Brian and Eleanor didn't get involved in financial planning. They were very nice, down-to-earth types. Brian was a security guard, and Alan enjoyed their company, but didn't meet up with them very often. Years later, in 2017, Alan received a call from Brian out of the blue. He was in a panic. Only a year before, in 2016, he'd been persuaded to transfer his final salary pension to a personal pension by a smooth-talking salesman in a smart suit who'd come to his place of work and persuaded lots of the company's employees to transfer their defined benefit schemes to personal pensions. Alan's seen this type of salesman before. They turn up looking suave, wearing a Rolex watch and driving a fancy car. They talk the talk. They transfer a 100 clients over to different pensions, take commission that's fees of up to £10,000 at a time, and then disappear with their ill-gotten gains, leaving everyone else to pick up the pieces. Brian was very concerned that he'd done the wrong thing, and Alan and Brian talked it through. In fact, Alan was amazed to hear that the company had even sent a courier motorbike on a 100-mile round trip to collect signatures on the same day he'd visited the office. So it was over to Alan. Alan agreed to investigate what Brian had done for a small fee. He obtained Brian's letters of authority to approach the advice firm and the pension company. Well, Alan wasn't at all surprised to hear that the so-called advice firm had gone into liquidation and therefore was no longer in existence. However, while this was not a surprise... Alan then received details about the pension and was horrified to discover that a significant portion of Brian's pension had been invested in non-regulated offshore funds. Alan immediately suggested that Brian transfer his pension to the platform where he already held investments through Interface. But then Alan and Brian hit a brick wall because the unregulated funds couldn't be transferred because they had no real value. When an advice firm is no longer in existence, the only recourse is to put in a claim to the financial ombudsman service. So, for the next two years, Alan managed all the paperwork for Brian in order to submit his claim. It's worth bearing in mind that the FOS has a maximum payout of £50,000 in cases like this. While Brian didn't get his full amount, he was happy because he thought he'd lost the lot. Alan managed to recoup something, which is always better than nothing. Unfortunately, Alan has seen cases like Brian's before. It always amazes him how someone as cautious as a security guard could be so vulnerable when presented with a slick presentation. Alan is a jeans and t-shirt man himself. It might not be the accepted business attire, but at least you can see who he is and not risk being taken in by fancy clothes. Since then, as you might expect... Brian and Eleanor have become keen financial planning clients and they no longer make any financial decision without consulting Alan first. They're now invested in a personalised portfolio of sustainable funds. Their lifetime cash flow shows that they can do whatever they want to do in retirement and their estate planning is complete. With Alan's team and his ongoing support and regular reviews, they can look forward to a financially healthy retirement. Alan rates Brian as one of his most successful clients because we all make mistakes in life and Brian had the sense to realise that he had made a mistake, owned up to it and found someone to help him sort it out. You only fail if you continue to make the same mistake and Brian will never make this type of mistake again. Thank you. For more information, visit our website at interfacefinancialplanning.co.uk.